I never thought that in the end it, me and Fester would be so close. Because he was kind of the furthest from any of us. Right. Me. me and him are never really like me and you or me and Craver or us or anything. And then in the end we have hour long phone calls. That's rad. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Oh, okay. Uh, I'm good, I'm good, thank you. It would have been so fun to stay at the river. We would have had a really good time out there. It's just like, it's wild out there. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it sounds like it was. <laughs> just to go out in the Jeep and like cruise around like in the little trails because a lot of the trails are just for quads or bikes. The trucks and stuff can't fit in them. Right, right. But our Jeeps do. Right, right. So you can't like go in this thing. You're like, you can't drive in there. But we do. It sounds badass. It's pretty fun. Did you um, take the sky train to Surrey? Yeah, I'll. Uh, I don't know what my plan is. I'll. I'll, yeah. I'll either. Depends on how worn out I get from this. Well, that's because I was wondering, like, did you just hop off there? Or did you yeah. So some. So like when I did the ride yesterday, I would. I, I ride out of the city and yeah. I, I I hit the Nanaimo station, and then I sky train to. Surrey and then I bus from Surrey to Langley oh, okay. and so then I just rode from Langley to Chilliwack oh nice and oh so you were literally by our house then at yeah, the yeah, yeah 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 oh okay <laughs> we just told them that you bus all the way from North Van or that you rode all the way from North Van mm, that's so funny <laughs> English bit. English bit. Oh, so funny this guy's a maniac I think they were I think it might have been one of those they were all fun Terminator's coming our way. Is that why they didn't want to leave? No, they, 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 he's trying. He's riding his bike all the time. Sherry was so <laughs> upset. <laughs> he looks so tired. <laughs> that airport photo you sent us. Like, oh, he might not make it. She used to live on. Well, this is weird. What you guys were talking about your brother earlier is she used to live like her dad Ron ran a chicken farm on Mount Lehman. What? Yeah, right in front so of the airport where you took that photo. Glitch in the Matrix, bro. <laughs> And then I just take like a weird? photo <laughs> with <That's where> you <laughs> It didn't make any sense. Uh. And then when I heard you talking to Quinn about your brother running a chicken farm, I was oh, like, yeah. that's even weirder. Totally. Is Isn't that crazy? No. There's like a trillion things I want to tell you and I forgot every single one of them out here. Oh, fucking chickens. And his like hip waders or something. Just <laughs> yeah. Funny walk. <laughs> about graffiti. Huh, cool. He's really smiling. <laughs> I think nothing wrong with graffiti even if it's illegal. The way he responded to me about uh, painting was 
you could tell. Oh, he's cool? It was about it, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, you never know, right? I couldn't be happier right now. I'm so glad we didn't stay another night in Chilwax. We wouldn't have been able to do this. Yeah. It's all meant to be, babe. Look at that. I know. That's, well, I said it would have been so awesome to spend the night on the river, but it's just so busy. This isn't the right weekend. Oh, it was, it was a war zone. Yeah. Oh, like, my eyes still hurt from all the yeah. blood. Yeah, I couldn't breathe through my nose because all the, the dust. Got super busy Saturday. <laughs> radio control park thing over there. I'm just watching these little yes. cars. Was, when I was a kid, I was obsessed with that stuff. I still want one. You should get one. I know. I know. Right? Run it in the underground. Oh my god. No, now I just have an actual one <laughs> that I sit in yeah, that takes me places. True. We do. <laughs> oh my goodness. Our, what? our garbage bag opened while we were driving home. It was in the <laughs> back of the Jeep yeah. and I feel we feel horrible. We had litter just fly everywhere out oh, of the Jeep on the freeway. And a couple plates maybe. Uh, and a cup. So you have to like pull over and <laughs> you're on yes. the number one. What are you gonna do? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Drop the hammer. <laughs> <laughs> you can't stop I, with the trailer. I just picked up garbage on my way back to the Jeep. Right, right now I did. I, we always pick up garbage. We definitely, we put up, we pick up more garbage than we put into the world. That's, it's not like we did it on purpose, but it's really sad. Well, yeah, but we never did that. Just a, just a little flip. This is so fun. Dude, yeah, this is awesome. And you know what? This is important to do because this helps the mental health of people. I, not just the videos, but today, people driving by or kids that will come here in the next couple days, people need to be reminded that it's not all over. Yeah, dude. <laughs> We're still here and there's still hope and things aren't that bad. I think it's just a lot of fear. Oh yeah. All right, but me and you- Well, people are so fragile, right? So fragile. Think about our life was kind of like preparing for this. Yeah. Like me and you, we don't have, like we could die from a trillion things before our COVID. Went on a bus with Rick driving for fuck's sakes. I drove through moose country. <laughs> we hit a bat. <laughs> Remember that photo? I thought it was a moose. <laughs> Remember that photo? Dude, I made a book. I wrote a book. <laughs> I wrote a book. I released a published novel. He wrote the book on it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, oh, that was the scary shit. And everybody just went to sleep. I'm like, how can you sleep right now? Me and Craver in the control of the bus. I know. We are not qualified in any way, shape, or form. Not at all. When was the last time you drove a 40 something foot bus? Well, I mean, I did have the fucking. Oh, you did? The heavy D experience, right? I think that's why everyone was so chill oh, yeah, about it. Yeah, right? because you've actually driven a motorhome. Okay, I was wrong. Well, how big was your motorhome? 33. 33, Whoa. so it was close. Yeah, it was very, it was very similar. Me and Nikki are buying one. I really? really yep. just think we need to get a motorhome. Yeah. I don't know. Well, for the long trip. We can't, like, just go away for a night or two anymore. If we want to go away, I think we have to go away for longer than that. And the reality is, is we have cats. Right. Yeah. And I can't just ask people to take care of them or yeah. leave them. And then we miss them and get worried about them. Yeah, and what if there's yeah. a fire in the building? Like, I can't yeah. even get into it. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to buy, we, we might even buy Blake's motorhome. Have you seen that thing? Blake McRitchie? Yeah, he inherited one from his grandparents. Uh-huh. It's a 1977 Chevy, but okay. it's like uh, 20 feet long. Okay. But it's so mint condition because all they did was garage store and never use it. Right. So it's like a brand new motorhome, even though it's 1977. Dude, that's sick. Yeah, it's so vintage. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we'll probably just like tow the Jeep or something. Do you think you're going to get it then? Oh, we definitely will. We've been looking for three years. Really? Yep. Because we're going to buy another property. Like a, a ca you? like a cabin, like your dad's kind of thing. Yeah. Well, not your dad, but your family thing. Yeah. And then we'll have a destination finally. Because yeah. we're really, like, it sucks, especially now with COVID, but just with the population of the Lower Mainland, you can't really go anywhere and be alone, you know? Yeah, yeah. No, so, it's true. It's so, true. Yeah. So we're going to buy a property, probably like 400 grand, 300 grand, like yeah. in the middle of nowhere. But yeah, yeah. Five no, hour that's drive. the dream, right? Yeah, yeah. I am slowly working towards something like that. 
I mean, you know, to even start with a little container home. Yep. And yeah. and then start building. You know, I've got my my framing background. Yeah. Oh yeah. Start, no shit. Start you start have the skills. Something. Yeah. See, that's awesome. You know how to do all that stuff. What um like what do you think your parents? Because they have a place up fairly far away too, Oops. though, don't Hit they? The, camera. the caribou. Yeah. 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 How far does it take the to drive there? Canem Lake. Canem. So you know, like. Hmm. We went um, past there. Yeah, well, yeah, it's up in the whole like Green Lake, like um, Green Lake. You found that's Deca. What I, I think Deca's up there. Lake and stuff. Yeah. We, I have um, one of my brother's best friends growing up. Him and his wife. I don't know if they still Green Lake or her family or whatever it is. They go there. Yeah. But I still get homesick for this place. As fucked as Langley is, I, I always it's home to me. Same with Surrey. Like I miss it. Yeah, this is very, very therapeutic for me. Yes, now. right? That's what people all get. Like, this is my therapy. Like, when we like go I for grew a up walk, in this park. Yeah, I know. You did. Remember that day I was in Brookswood and I saw you standing at a bus stop and I was like. What? When? <laughs> when? when that this? Brookswood, Fern Ridge protest. They're trying to save Brookswood and Fern Ridge. Yeah. But and I was protesting? Yeah, but why was no, <laughs> your parents still lived in Brookswood. Oh. And you oh. were standing at the bus stop in front of the Royal Bay. Whoa. And I weird. went to get in my Jeep and you were standing in front of me. And I was like, that's Whoa. so weird. I don't even remember. I don't even think it I knew that. It was super weird. It was when Scott and out. Like really, Scott was trying to do the, you know, remember those yellow? Save Brookswood, mm, yeah, signs. Brookswood, not Brooks Woods. Yes. <laughs> I I can remember taking a train or taking a bus from there. Mm -hmm. I don't know where I would be training or busing to. Yeah. I think you're taking a bus to the Sky Train. But maybe that's what you it must was. have lived at that place in the basement suite. Crazy lives. The Lesbobian Ranch. Yes. Lesbobian That's what we called it, yeah. <laughs> that was an insane okay, this place. Is 10 lifetimes. Yeah, me and Kriber have lived 100 lifetimes. <laughs> Alright, am I going to just outline this now? Around with it. I think so. I don't think you can ever release this guy video. Well, I'll heavily edit it. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're not live in or anything. Right? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I believe I have this can of Montana gold. Fucking cheap gold. Holy oh, it's that shit. lens. Is it still there? Yeah. I use it to paint my Jeep. That's my repair can. So every time there's a bunch of scratches on my Jeep, that's how I paint them all. If you look at my roll bar when we leave, it's brand new roll bar because of that can. I just love Montana gold, man. Yeah. Montana is always probably my favorite. I like the smell of loop. I got two racks this time with my order. Oh yeah? They hold 200 cans each. And I, they have logos on, they look slick. I put them right in this, the shop in the front retail. And it took me all day, but I color coordinated them. Looks so nice. cool. Sometimes and then, I, I like doing that. Yeah. Just uh, go through my paint and kind of, you know, every time I like organize it a different way. Like, <laughs> yep. Just a little yep. quiet time alone with my babies. Totally, right? <laughs> come in on Saturday and all week and I'm like what did you guys do to nah. paint while I was gone? Well, it's because <laughs> someone like Naco or, or Miles comes in and just destroys it. 20 minutes after I got all color coordinated and stock, two customers came in and bought $600 and just destroyed yeah. it. Really? I was like, oh. Who was it? Do you know? Um, no, they're young kids. Really? Yeah. Well, they've been waiting. Yeah, one it's kid. Fuck, what's blow. that one guy? Ah, I wish blow? it was. Not blow. But, um. Bomb. Okay. B O M B. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, like, I, I, oh, no. I'm thinking of A bomb. It might be him. Okay. I think that's who it was. He really, nicest human on earth. I'm like, holy shit, man. I always give him free shit. Oh, a couple girls came into the shop one Saturday. They'd never been there. Yeah. They can't find loop paint anywhere. And they were from Vancouver and they came out and found it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's I dope. Was, yeah, I was super happy. I gave them like three stickers and shit. I was just happy to see them. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's changed a lot. Yeah, you know, two girls are coming in. Yeah. There's some there's some cool shit in Vancouver right now. Like there's like this girl gang thing going on and mm -hmm. girl gang? Yeah. Like uh writers? Yeah. Don't know what? Yeah. Getting up and 
Yeah, is it still a war zone down there? All the yeah. just board it up with me? Yeah. It's, uh... It's pretty bad. Yeah? <laughs> I think I think it's gonna start getting back to normal, somewhat of a normal need. I'm just worried if this Serb money stops, and everybody that's lost their job suddenly doesn't have the two grand. Then what? right. But, who knows? Yeah. What do I know? <laughs> oh, so glad the sun behind those trees is so nice. Now. Yeah. So I'm just sweating. Right. I just rode from Chilliwack. Oh. <laughs> no! Holy must be tired. I'm just a glutton for life. I'm going to go and shower upstairs if you want to go up there. Oh, no. I'm, I love it. <laughs> yeah. We're the same way. Pretty once, awesome. Once you get home from a trip, it <laughs> makes you appreciate what you have. Oh, yeah. If we didn't have two cats, it would be a different Sorry. Yeah, because I do love our Jeep in the trailer. It's so fun, but there's no room for cats. We brought them Makes it tough, eh? We have. <laughs> it was fucking hilarious. Go down. They like to go out and like walk around their little leashes. Yeah, put them on their leashes and wander through the forest. But it's really stressful on me because if I lose a cat, I'm going to be really upset. <laughs> <laughs> That's an understatement. It's like if someone loses their child. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll be done soon. It looks good. Oh, thanks, man. Are you guys filming a video? Yeah. Yeah. YouTube? Yeah, for uh, the Stomp Down YouTube channel. Oh, I thought of uh, something when I was riding my bike. What? I'm seriously considering. I want. I, I might. If I could get the right camera, I want to do bike vlog type videos yes. for my adventures. Yes. Dude, I, I highly think, recommend that. And you know what I would do it? What I'd make like my banner and everything for the thing is um, like uh, okay, so Blackbird because that's my bike. Blackbird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, so it's it's just gonna be called Blackbird Presents, yeah. and it'll just be anytime I go for like just like I did today, like an adventure, just film little quick clips and stuff. Yeah. But then I'm gonna put like don't like, don't subscribe. Don't bother me, I'm cycling. And then I'll be my whole thing is like, I'm not gonna like, this isn't no, gonna be a lot of, I'm not building message. something yeah, here, yeah. but like, if I wanna put some videos up, you know? It's just enjoy it, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's what I got back to lately with the videos is just do what I like to do instead of worrying about anything else. <laughs> I mean, the guy really likes zombies. <laughs> Who doesn't? When That's why I live here. When the happens with Holden. Oh, yeah. Oh man, what a fuck. what a life, eh? Right? Still going. All these years. <sighs> All right, I think that's the basic shape. Okay. Now we can have some fun. Want to put them on video. They want to be. They're super excited. I know. I just don't. I always feel bad filming the young, and as I get older, I don't know. Are you gonna do uh, if you post this? Are you just gonna do a music one? Yep. So I don't have to worry about what I'm saying. Yep. No. <laughs> okay. Okay. All good, brother. Two, <sighs> two and a half minute music edit. Wait, I just been sad. I might put a couple clips of me talking, but I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, know. you could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Okay. Now. No, I'm just uh, most excited to post a photo soon of this and being like, new video soon, SDK forever. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Because people think I fell off. Take a breather. Yeah. We gotta find our new. We gotta find what our new balance is. Because if we're talking, <laughs> what you just said. Oh what? It's said hashtag the same new balance, thing. and you said we have to find what our <laughs> new same balance time. is. Are you serious? Yeah. That that's weird. another glitch in the matrix. See those little things I pick up on. It's not normal. It's not normal. <laughs> I didn't hear it. That's yeah. hilarious. Yeah. I that's was like hashtag proof, right? new balance. I wanted to say to new balance about what we were talking about before with like people and like what stomp down is and like what it's like this is it this is like it. We, like we, like we can't always be park. the same doing the same shit like so like whatever man this is where it started this is where it'll finish exactly it's fucking important yep and no it's the best part is I never got rich 
And in the end, I got everything money can't buy. Exactly. Man, because in the mate, that's why we're in the simulation because we must have done it before. Yeah. And, and it was, it was, it, we realized it wasn't what, it wasn't a good thing. Oh, and so look at these, him. like, yep. th this, this scenario is, is, do you want anything else? Nothing. Like, is there anything that you could have, like, Maybe. I've got cold beer yep. and paint Dude. and I just, and, and, and my bicycle. Yep. <laughs> Honestly. If someone oh, offered me a million money. dollars to never do this again, I'd turn it down in yeah. heartbeat. Yeah. Can't put price on happiness. Yeah, exactly, man. Like, we really want to stay in Chilliwack at the river, but it's not, not the right time at the river for us all to stay there. It's too crazy right now. This is more my style. I get anxious there around so many humans. will be another day where we can all go to the river and it's going to be awesome like we know it can be. Yep. Not just being dusted out. <laughs> oh, it was awesome. That's so funny. When we were leaving, we were saying bye to all our neighbors, and like, they hated us. We were up until 5 a.m. screaming. <laughs> Sari talks Sarah like this! Yeah. Sari's loudest, <laughs> little kid, loudest mouth <laughs> you could ever imagine. Ooh. Look at those pigments. Look at that! Look at them pigments! What? Yeah. Pigman shit. Pigman. Pig milk. Yes. Pig milk. Do you guys watch Seinfeld? Yes. Me, do you know Caleb's obsessed with it? <laughs> oh, is he? Yeah. Oh, well, when he gets a text message, what does it do? Oh, fuck, it says famous. <laughs> oh, yes, the thing. It's the intro music. <laughs> oh, and then, and then if you go on, if you ever go on Caleb's Instagram, it says, all it says in his bio is these pretzels are making me thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love that. Oh, man. That, oh, that's good to know. Yeah, he loves it. Yeah, I'm obsessed. Me oh, and dude, are I got Vigi on it, and Vigi's been binge watching him. He's on like season six now. Oh, good. Oh, it's the best. I, the, how I got him on it, I sent him the photo of uh, Kramer as the turkey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> With the yeah. Kramer head. Yeah. He's like, hey, buddy. <laughs> and, 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 hey, buddy. <laughs> he's like, what is I'm going to do? That's <laughs> actually a Roasting TV show. Roasting his butter. <laughs> yeah. It should be your caption. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> I just changed my name again. I love I know. fucking doing Typos? that shit. Typos? <laughs> oh, my God. Like, he was like... <laughs> I was like, oh, Kramer posted something. He's like, I how do that. I fucking find <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. I didn't even know said Lyle. Uh, is it? Is it? Does it? <laughs> yeah, because yeah, because I I, oh, no, I changed. So good. So good. So good. Yeah, because it's just like fuck it. Who cares? I know, right? Yeah, I saw it. I wonder what they're wearing or what they ride. That's awesome to see parents bringing their kids up. I think it's two of two young daughters. You're passing up helmets. Yeah, well, that's like the other thing about us. Crazy fireworks last night. There's a huge firework thing. This redneck central. It's so random. And we saw a seal. I didn't think we'd see a seal that far from the river. Like a otter, maybe? Yeah. Or what? No, like a giant seal. What? Yeah. Right in front of us. It was so crazy. I didn't think they'd go to Agassiz. Like, we're at the Agassiz Bridge. That's where we were. Yeah, we can see the Agassiz oh. Bridge. From really? Here. Yeah, and there was a giant seal. I know it was a seal because I used to hunt them. Look <laughs> at <laughs> the river and the egg sea bridge is to the right. Yeah. But I didn't know they couldn't come that far in one. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
drink your bubble. Keep your bubble small, it's COVID season. Are you doing a speech bubble? Hell yeah. Oh my God. You didn't know the question. <laughs> Kids love me. I'm getting all like weird, like angly, like shit going on. It's just like so weird, like this is weird free floating, like yeah, right. I was like, I'm, I'm gonna fuck it all up and then do big, thick outlines. Oh, my favorite part. That's like what color? Ooh. Yellow. I'll do an outer outline with yellow, but perfect. Perfect. Back, back in my weirder, darker days. No, there ain't anything wrong. But I'm just so fucked up all the time. I'd come into this forest back here, you remember? Oh, yeah. It was a homeless camp. Yeah, yeah. And I'd bring my chair and I'd sit there and just drink by myself. <laughs> yeah, I've been doing these more kind of like freeform things on the tracks, like. You still, you still been painting? Man, yeah. Like, oh yeah. You like since my hiatus, like my really, like there's probably, I don't know, four or five years there where when I really got into animation and started getting focused. Yeah. And I wasn't really painting at all. And um, yeah, it wasn't until my 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 city my city dudes that I reconnected with started painting. It was during COVID. Right. Yeah. My ten my ten fifteen boys. And uh, yeah, we're planning another production right now actually. For the wall that you've, you've been to my secret wall. Right. So we're going to lace that up. Oh, that, that's sick. Yeah. Yeah. Looking Fuck. like proper. Man. Yeah. So that's in the works right now. So rad. Freedom's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Yeah, I love those dudes. Yeah, right? couple of the leftover long hairs. <laughs> Do any of them have long hair anymore? Nope. <laughs> I don't blame them. Long hair sucks so bad. <laughs> Remember when I did it? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, you had a pretty good growth. Oh yeah, I had a I had shoulder length. Yeah. That was a couple years ago. Yeah. yeah. I'll show you the before and after because I finally got so sick and tired of it. And I took a picture as I was in the chair at the barber. Yeah. The before and after, yeah. It was, it was just annoying, your hair? Uh, my hair is so thick and straight. It just it just went like, like how yours is like, it like hangs. Yeah. Mine was like, boop. <laughs> You're going out. Yeah, it was just yeah. so This much. is what's wrong with mine. The curls, so I can't get my hands through it. Like, look at that. Right, right, right. It won't right. go through. And I hate that. Well, I'll tell you, man. It's better than the alternative. <laughs> well, I, well, I wish I could have done it, man. I wanted to. Yeah, it's just... One day I dream of shaving my beard because my beard, all this is, the only reason I have this on my face uh -huh. is to make myself unique in the it's industry branded. of filming. Like brand branding. myself, yeah. But it's so annoying, right? But the one thing it did teach me is discipline because every day for 20 minutes, I have <laughs> to put my elastics in. Yeah. 
if I'm hungover or if I'm yeah. anything, it doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. So it taught me a routine. Yeah. And I think that's important. Yeah. But I can't wait till the day I can eat soup again. <laughs> Dude, sometimes I'll eat fucking soup or cereal or whatever, and my beard not only will go in the bowl, it'll go under and out and up the other side. <laughs> Start making another soup over here. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so annoying. Like, I'll be sleeping, and my hair from my head will get caught in my, like, say, shoulder or armpit when I go to roll over, so I have my head's, like, anchored to the bed for a second. <laughs> and then my beard hair gets caught in my armpit. I'm just like, what am I doing with my life? Like, I'm losing sleep just for, like, what? But it's all good. Branding. Yeah, it's all branding, right? Shut up. Did you hear that? What? I want to go on that ramp where they're spray painted. Oh, no. It's too steep for you. She is grumpy. Little grumpy Gus. Ooh. Little girl. I tried to look at the mom and tell her we're not going to be here for too long. But right. she didn't. didn't like us? No, she didn't look at us. I just. <laughs> that little girl. I want to go where they're painting. So. Oh, wait. Just take your hand away. Yeah, that's, I I think, that's what I said. Yeah, hey. It's 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 really not. I mean, I mean, you know, it's a it's a needle in the old sack, and the, and and that 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 sucks. I'll just do a whole Weird. YouTube tutorial. <laughs> Maybe we have good news and bad news. We're not having any kids, but I might have uh, cut my dick off. <laughs> Up for it, I fucking might not even be around much longer. <laughs> Holy fuck. Mm. Have a kid at 41. Ew. <laughs> How old are you now? Uh, September 30th, I'm 41. But, Man, and we're still going strong. Right? We kind of look the same, too. It's a little wrinklier, maybe. I actually. You're what? 38 in December. Oh, I thought you were going to say. I thought you said th I'm 30 in December. I'm no. like, yeah, I like my jeans like I like my women. 20 with lots of problems. <laughs> oh, they're all talking. Oh, they know what they're doing. <laughs> Those people, the family of girls. But I just have to tell them the truth. We're painting a COVID-19 mural for the city. I'm doing exactly what I want to do. Are you doing what you want to do? <laughs> Very few people can say that. Yeah. I can honestly say that I wouldn't rather be doing anything else on earth for any reason with anyone. And all I'm doing is standing in a skate park watching paint dry. Yeah. It's the little things that count. We spent one night. Well, with Craven, though, oh, or... right, right. Oh, yeah. next time. Yep. Hey, now that I know, like, that was the first time I did that, like, Chilliwack ride. Uh, yeah, I'm so, surprised. So, uh, I know, I kind of know now what to expect and what I'm capable of, and... Any problems? No. Yeah, you... Man, I could, I, I could... Like, you just ride just and ride. going, man. I, yeah? could, I don't know, I'm trying to find my, my limit. I don't know what it is yet. Screw, but I, I think, yeah, I think, I think I'll find it in the spring. Stella's got a groove back. <laughs> Yeah. Well, people that don't ride don't know what it's like. Ever since I was a kid, but like BMX, anything. As soon as you take that first pedal, I don't yeah. think about anything anymore. Dude, it's it's just like the the it's it, the physical um, the physical uh, benefits of it are nice and everything. But I honestly do it for my brain. Like I That's really what do. I, was just gonna say, yep. I do it for my brain. It's just. I get it. There's just nothing better. Yeah, and unless people know, they'll never know. I imagine it's something that runners can relate to, the runner's high, but exactly. I've never done yeah. that. But I still respect it. I know it's a real thing. Sure. Do you have flat tire problems? We have flat tire problems all the fucking time. We have, like, knobby tires. Makes no sense. Yeah, you gotta just get good tires. 
That's all it is? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Get good tires. And you, I used to ride the Schwabels, like the German fucking bulletproof. Like, you'll, I rode those until they, the band split on them. Yeah. But um, MEC has a brand uh, that I ride. Mountain the equipment? Con con yeah. Okay. Continental. And, uh, um, but, but I mean, like, I put like a, a B, it's like a beefy tour tire on there. So, like, if you guys are doing more mountain bikey type, kind of like cross, no, no, not at all. It's, it's just like Langley City, City. and we're getting yeah. flat tires like crazy. I'm riding, con those were $39.99 a piece, 40 right. bucks a tire. And, like, because I used to spend 80 bucks a tire, I used to spend double that. Yeah. Really? Yeah. But, uh, Shit. Continental was, is, I'm, I'm so stoked I made the choice to do that. Oh, that's good to know. You you run tubes like you have tubes. Right? Yeah, yeah 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 yeah. I haven't gotten into the tubeless thing yet. I didn't a lot even of know there was. Are... I just was yeah. No, there's there 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 there, there is that option. I mean, it's just like weird. Like I took the cats out one day by myself and I came home with flat tires, so it's not like I was wiling out, you know. Right. Uh, yeah. It, no. Do we have Maxis? M A X X I S. You know, okay. like that's. No. It's like the standard brand for mountain bike tires. okay okay so it's probably not the best yeah I, I have ridden um shitty tubes or sorry tires in the past yeah and yeah it's just it doesn't matter what you do like a thorn from a rose bush yeah, that's yeah. what it is bro that's, I, I, like that's our biggest nemesis right black now berries. yeah always blackberry bushes yeah and uh it's just it just ruins your it'll yeah. just ruin your day yep so not worth it for for 40 bucks a tire yeah okay well We'll figure that out. Then. Yeah, go. You gotta go puncture-proof tires. Oh, that's the thing. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah. Look fuck. for puncture-proof. There we go. And I mean, it's not, it's not, it's not like um, uh, one hundred percent, but uh, we just didn't know that was yeah. a thing. Yeah. Yeah. No, I didn't. That didn't work. <laughs> It'll take a lot for you to get a puncture with those. Yeah. For what we do, it'll probably be more than that. I really like both your tattoos, though. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, that's beaut. That's. Cam's, uh, that's Label's old apprentice. No way! Yeah, I went in and, and uh, yeah. I've started to, I'm uh, in back with him on the 15th. Well, I heard about that, but what's the tugboat though? I wanted to find out. I, I just have always been into tugboats. I'm always out on the really? water somewhere, and I've never been on a tugboat. I don't know anything about oh tugboats, God, okay. but I'm just, I just like tugboats. I was like, when have you been on a tugboat? I've never done anything. Oh I've never even been on a tugboat. <laughs> but, then I, but then I moved oh out God. on my own, and yeah. I moved to Port Town. Like, there's this, like, you know, like that part of East Van, there's, like, this big mural, like, up on the roof um, on, on Dundas. And it's like, welcome to Port Town. Yeah. And I would always go sit on the water oh. every night and I'd watch the tugboats and shit. Cool. And it was just kind of, so I've just been collecting little like, you know, whatever the moment. You're a sailor at what's heart. What's your channel name? What the, what the? Uh, stomp, stomp Down. Stomp Down. Stomp Down. Yeah, stomp down. yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. What do you do on it? Uh, it's an old man. This is, it's a channel from a long time ago. Uh, it's not as active as it used to be, but it's, it's just all graffiti. Stomp Down Wind graffiti Tales. Graffiti and hip hop oh, yeah, stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so I've just been kind of in the mood to kind of, I just started getting tattooed again and, and I'm just not really thinking too much about it. Just um, kind of getting, you know, just collecting whatever it is. That's the new one. I just wanted to know why you got the tugboat because I yeah. didn't understand that, but what else are you going to get? Uh, so on the 15th, I'm getting, I think I'm going to put it right here. But I'm getting two horseshoes, and it just says cheat codes, like what we were talking about before. Oh, okay. Like uh, that. Yeah, like that. That's. And then, like this. Cam's after. gonna do a, a fucking, yeah. fucking that's ram. Insane. Cam's doing the work. But like. Yeah, yeah. Cheat codes here. Them. No way. Then yeah. the ram. Yeah, I think I might do an owl here once I get my arms. Oh, you going neck? Do a neck? Once I get my. I arms never first. thought you'd have a neck tattoo in my life. I'm gonna do my arms first. Thing. I think weird. Cody will probably maybe just stamp out this one and then and then I don't know yeah I'm just kind of enjoying life and just oh I'm going to go on a tugboat one day I'm with Tony I met Killer F too you met Killer F? yeah she yeah. went to Montreal for went my court oh yeah right <laughs> yeah. Republic of Montreal yeah. La Rouge fucking Maybe love that guy uh yeah I think it's almost 200 now and we have a second channel too it's called Stomp Down Wind Fail it's like a backup channel. And they, there's a hundred on that one, I know that. That's the one we're probably gonna put this. 
Yeah, nice. Then we got some clout. <laughs> now they like their back. They're like, oh, hey, hey, wait a second. <laughs> Yeah, this video will be out soon. A couple days. Forty year old man. Boys at a skate. Weird when they say no, how many subscribers? I know. That's so funny. Like back in the day, it would be like we're doing a YouTube video, and people would be like, "What?" Yeah, what's? And now it's like they run away, they get on their phones, they look at it, they're like, "Oh, wait a second, you have a lot of go home to your computer." Right? Because there was Blackberries and flip phones yeah. back when we started this. Yeah. And it wasn't even a thing. Like, people were like, what, what's a YouTube video? Yeah, what's a YouTube I can't believe how quick you were on the YouTube Thanks thing. Thanks to my like. dad. You know the whole story? No. Me and Label were filmed our first video at Ski Wall. Yeah. And we wanted to put it on the internet, but the bandwidth cost was so expensive we didn't understand. Right. So my dad, I told my dad this, how do we get a video on YouTube without paying bandwidth? Right. And he's like, well, there's a new website that opened up last week. It's called YouTube. Right. And I was like, okay, I'll check it out. So we opened a channel April 28th, 2006. And so uh, we were the first Canadian graffiti channel. We were the first channel in the world to do regular graffiti videos. And Remember so, those days, people were, they were bugging out. Bro. Yeah, we got on the news. Yeah. We were top story. I have it to this day. Six o'clock news, Pamela Martin and Bill Good. <laughs> well, I can't remember how it started, but it was something like I remember the I latest, re greatest craze is the internet fueling vandalism in your community. Thanks, Bill. <laughs> hey Bill. Yeah, now he's doing hey, commercials Bill. for end of the roll. <laughs> hey Bill. Hey Bill. Hey Bill. Hey Bill. Do you know what's also awesome? Is my dad's name is Bill. That helps out. <laughs> really smoothes things up. What, what that? My dad's name is Bill. <laughs> that makes it easy. Another glitch in the matrix. Not the same. Hey, Small Bill. Bill. Short Bill, tall Bill. Duck Bill. Duck Bill. <laughs> Chicken shit. <laughs> oh, my God. oh my God. How did that We are happen? exposing this it simulation theory simulation. second by second. <laughs> that was too weird. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Uh, tugboats! Fat tugs. <laughs> oh my god. My favorite beer. I know. Uh, it's got a tugboat on it. I had to explain oh. to my parents. Like, my parents are so conservative and they like see my these. Like, I haven't seen them since Christmas. So they like see this and I was just like. They're like, and my mom was like, she's trying not to be offended. Yeah. And oh. what's that about? And I'm like, it's just, it's a tugboat. And she's like, uh. And I'm like, uh, I don't know, I, like, <laughs> it's not a big deal, it's just a tugboat. Like, right? I, I don't know. I'm, what does it I'm, represent? Like, I just asked the same thing. I, I've <laughs> always oh, liked tugboats, I've never even been on a tugboat, I don't know anything we, about them. Let's go. <laughs> and then when I moved out, when I moved out on my own, I moved to, to, I moved to that part of East Van that there's that mural right on Dundas when you drive in, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. it says, welcome to Port Town, yep. and I'm right on the water, and I always go, like, every night well, when sense, I was setting though. up my spot, I'd go out there, drink yeah. beers. Watch the tugboats, yeah. fucking tugboats, man. They're fucking little tough. They just yeah. fucking get the job done. Like, right? You know, I it's kind of like the way I like to do life. So it's you. Yeah. I but used you... to have an uncle that drove a tugboat, but he left my aunt for my other aunt, and shit got awkward. It sounds like a country tune. Yeah. <laughs> and this yeah. happened. Coming home from but the tugboat. I had an uncle that drove tugboats. What was his name? Tony. Uncle Tony. It was like Tony. Uncle Tony. <laughs> Tony. Oh God. Tony the Tug. <laughs> Tony so the Tug. <laughs> but he Tony went Tugga. from Tony like Tugs. New West huh? to Fort Langley to the tugboats. <laughs> he really did it. I, I, one day I'm gonna surprise you, Craver. I'm gonna you're gonna hear this, burr, burr, English Bay. <laughs> I'm in a tugboat with Tony. <laughs> Get in. <laughs> and it's gonna be miles. Back. Yeah. It's Tony. <laughs> yeah. And we're gonna be wildly intoxicated. <laughs> but it's so funny back like, when nobody cared about us and now it's like a thing kids on scooters like after, like we get clout from kids on scooters that's what we earn <laughs> yeah we win <laughs> oh that was all worth it uh, yeah we did it me and you got alcohol poisoning on a flight to win it, or Montreal <laughs> fast forward 20 years right, we got a shit beat of us by cops <laughs> lost yeah, thousands yeah the absinthe on the plane oh my god I forgot about that I was drinking absinthe, and, oh. then I, and then I tried to like draw a comic, 
and then the, I just remember lost the girl we were with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was just sitting next to us. We weren't with her. She was just happened. To, unfortunately, she Unf was unfortunately, sitting next to us. We changed her. I think by the time we landed, she was changed her entire life. Yeah, I think that. Uh, I think we taught her a few things. Oh, <laughs> taught her air quotes. <laughs> <laughs> it was the, it was, I lost function of my body. Do you remember that? Remember like, we were, just, like you were trying to rent a car, yeah. and I remember I was drunk enough when I was. We rented there. a car. I know we did, but you were like, "Hey, you need to sit there on that bench, <laughs> so we don't get the police called on us." And then but you I drove was, onto the highway. You drove way. on the off ramp, yep. and you drove. We were way. on the highway. Six lane highway. We were on the wrong side of the highway because it's all French. Passing semis. And then he did a giant U turn, and U we drove right back to the rental place. And he just dropped off. He said, We'll be cabbing from here on out. And he rented the car. We didn't even use it. Dude, we didn't even use it. For the three days we were there, you paid for it. You paid for it. <laughs> but you know the worst part? <laughs> the best part? My visa got oh. cut off mid-flight. Do you remember that? Oh, yeah. We were doing so much drinking. Oh, they thought yeah. my heart was stolen. Oh, yeah. So they canceled it. Thankfully, I had $3,000 cash, which is also How not thankfully. It was a terrible idea. Oh. I know. So we got to Montreal. We had alcohol poisoning. I was puking white foam yeah, everywhere. We were painting with Killer App, and you were pu puking white foam. Pu After you fought a guy. Yeah. That yeah. guy tried to fight us in the poutine place. Yep. You got to meet Killer F and paint with them. Yeah, it was a fun fucking night. Yeah, Killer F. First thing he does <laughs> is he takes us to a poutine place. Some guy fight from, breaks out. Some guy from outside. Some guy from outside yeah. started like beefing at with the us. window, like right yeah. at the window. So we just went out and didn't you and then, kick him? No, 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 I no, no, no. He attacked me. He came at oh, me. Oh, yeah. And you were beside me. And then so you I just kicked him into a van. <laughs> you kicked him right into a parked car. <laughs> I was so upset because yeah. I never seen you get attacked. Yeah, yeah. I went like Lunatron. Yeah. You were like my like I couldn't believe this would happen. I'm like, this is the last person that should be having this happen to. Do you remember when we went to a homeless encampment? Yes. That was so weird. We went to a yeah, tent. That's what we were and the guy had like nine dogs. Yes. Yeah. And he was like this black dude, and me and him also got in a weird fight. Yeah, because cause we were with Killa F and he just wanted to show us. He was he was no. <laughs> This guy's a little entrepreneur. Right. You work for TikTok, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Well, so I, I had a YouTube That ship has sailed. You guys want to be in this video? I know. Find him on Instagram. She told me to film me. I'm like, I don't know if he wants to be. Can I, I like film a scooter? Yeah. Like, sure. Yeah. Like, 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 like it'll be like two seconds. Yeah. But find him on Instagram. Video, it could like be a TikTok person. None of us are interested in it. Yeah, link it to your TikTok. I can just film you like this. Like, yeah. it's not gonna. Like, it's gonna be a flash, right? Okay. So I can just. I can probably do like a trick or something. Okay, where? Um, Yeah, in that first try. Yes. <laughs> Let's not get carried away. <laughs> I don't know. I just think it's so cool that kids are interested. I love that. that, that that's like such a currency now. There's like a legitimacy in what currency. followers. To followers and to like, like all that, yeah. that whole aspect, like, you know, even if they don't, I, it's so bizarre. It's true. It is like, bizarre. So Think of when we were in high school, we didn't have a cell phone. Yeah. yeah. It was like Facebook, now kids have hunchbacks. Instagram, Snapchat, now it's TikTok. Yep. And one day these kids will be the old kids, and totally, some kid will be coming up to me like, "Are you on bazooka?" Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Can you keep up? When we started this, they weren't even born. No. <laughs> How crazy is that?
I know. Hey. I'm pretty sure you just made him stay though to do like spinning. He landed the trick he was trying to do. Did you hear him when he was rolling up to it? It'll be like um, three days or so. It'll be on. Okay, <laughs> but it'll be on stomp down wind trail. Okay, so wait, keep the Come to second and count. Stomp down wind sail? Yeah. Yeah. W I N S A I L. Like wind sail. Yeah, in my Instagram. Oh, you do sail. Never in my life, ever, did I think I'd be in the position I'm in. You just made their day. Isn't that crazy? I made my day. I was like, you did, they're so cute. But it made my day. I'm like, what fucking little kids care about a 14 or 40 year old person? They're like, like when we're I was. We're still like, doing the same shit. We're exactly. in the park. Exactly. But the when park. me and you were kids, yeah, 40 years old was like 1,000 years old and you're almost dead. Yeah. And you're boring, you have nothing off to offer. Yeah. But the fact that young people still are interested in what we do all these years later. It shows that art is timeless. You can't put an, an age on it. It's just, I don't know. I still remember the way that graffiti made me feel when I first started to see it and, and I was blown away. Something about the colors. But it was, the first thing I noticed was letters. The way people would paint letters. Letter structure. Man. Yeah, that's what got me. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Do you remember the big blue skull at Brookswood Skate Park? It was up for a while. There was like on the lethal ledge area. There was oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was like a, some of those paintings back in the day. Remember when you painted a crave with the farm? The you know? little scenery inside? Yes. Yeah. My favorite painting of all time. And then it said one sunny day yep, on it. That was it. Yeah, yeah. That, that honestly too. saved my life. I was so depressed. I had like nothing going for me. And I then, remember you telling me about this. Yeah, and that painting changed my life, bro. <laughs> one sunny day. Just anything that has silhouettes or portrait in the fill or on the outside right. of the painting, something about it to me. It's just, I don't know. I just wanted to, I wanted to get better, sharper lines with it, that's all. I don't appreciate it. so good because yeah. it was a silhouette type yeah. painting right and i know she doesn't think it's good but i wouldn't fucking joke about something i want something oh, on my wall that i didn't like there, yeah no you craver will see it and you'll know exactly mm -hmm. you tripping out right now man what just being here just, <laughs> it's so crazy man right? 20 years later you're in the same spot it's so remember that painting that i was talking to you about where you you painted here and they were in the blue jeans yes what was the caption do you remember it was bros it was me and yes. keeper the yeah two yeah. guys yeah yeah That's the was, one. and then he did the hand style the craver and the keep six on top of it so I always remember the shading of the blue jeans. It was so perfectly done. It looked like they were popping off the wall the way the jeans had darkness to the blue with the wrinkles. I, yeah, I, was, I was fucking around back then, man. Trying to find my lane. Yeah, your, your character game was pretty crazy. Yeah, every now and then, like, when me and Keeper, like, reconnect or whatever, Hell, we'll send that. Yeah. We've got that photo. Like, we'll oh no way! Yeah, like remember this? Like, <laughs> that was before I met either one of you. Yeah, we were both just like, we were both just like, 
little partners in crime back yeah, then. Yeah, <gasps> yeah. Oh, pardon me. That was when you used to come to skate park and you little gold golf. Yeah. <laughs> and I didn't know you. I didn't know Keeper. I was so loud and obnoxious. Well, Dude, I mean, I guess I drove still a am, car but... into the skate park. <laughs> I know. So I... Even for us, that was like, whoa, who's this guy? I know. Yeah. Like, like, like we're not talking about just around the skate park. I was in it. Oh. Yeah, I rode the banks. And I yeah, in a car. We've never seen anything like this. Do you, like, ever remember my Pinto? It was red with, like, a white. Oh my god, she has the Starsky and Hutch Pinto. That was really? her first car, and she yeah. still has it. Really? Well, yes. my brother has it. It's his car. But, like, that's what I drove when I was in grade 12. My first car was a Chevette hatchback. Yes. It was a 79 Pinto. Those are so rad. So cool. <laughs> so ridiculous. So works. You, you rent it out for movies. And it was, really? Well, yeah. I it's tried really good to get him. He's just not into it. Me? Dave. Oh, oh, Dave. I think you should be saying stay hip. Stay hip. Because <laughs> <laughs> most kids are like, what's hip mean? Oh, yeah. I wonder if I should do something more. Dude, your quotes are always the best. I'm gonna leave it all up to you. You nail it. When you when you put life grips, I didn't even realize that first. Like, oh shit! I didn't know that was for you. Yeah, and the little hand too, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He does that little hand. Yeah. That was so random. So close to being done. I promise. We're in no hurry. Got a whole lot of nothing going on tonight. We're just happy to be fucking not hurting. We were hurting yesterday. Man, 5 a.m. What were we doing? It's like 5 a.m.? I remember mixing a drink and I looked at the clock. I'm like, oh, 4 30. That's a normal time to be making a triple double. <laughs> Oh, love it. Yeah, we drank like every single new trail we had, and then we had a 40 pounder vodka, and it was half gone. I was like, holy fuck. <laughs> vodka was always... And I don't know, I'm oh, the only one that drank it. I was making vodka drinks, but you drank the vodka. Oh, even better. <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> you saved me. Oh my god. <laughs> so fast. Mm. We didn't get murdered by a grizzly bear. Before we left to go up there, a uh, husband and wife were riding their mountain bike in Lillooet. Yeah. And they came around the corner and there was a grizzly with cubs and it attacked the guy. What? And he had to be airlifted and all he had was groin issues. Oh, they go after your asshole first. Yeah. Apparently. Bit his dick off. Ugh. I'd rather die. Yeah, right? I'd wake up and get China. Dick issues? <laughs> that's that's an understatement. I got dick issues. <laughs> I got grizzly dick. That's <laughs> <laughs> the problem. Uh, before we progress any further, I gotta yeah. warn you. Yeah. I have a uh, grizzly dick <laughs> issues. <laughs> that's my profile. <laughs> uh, I like to be up front. And uh, I have a grizzly dick. Let's go on it. I know, I tried to get her to move there. This is the second time a grizzly bear has Well, no, the first time a grizzly bear ate you. It wasn't an almost. We fed grizzly bear in a captivity, like a movie star grizzly bear. Uh huh. And for some reason, it swallowed Mickey's arm. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? She fed it blackberries and marshmallows. Totally fine. And yeah. then I go in to feed him blackberries, and like my hand is in his fucking mouth. Full, full, full size like, grizzly bear, teeth, claws, everything. <laughs> just went for it. it. Swallowed her arm. No, I was like everybody else. He just ate the blackberries out of your hand. Well, I was shaking so hand. bad, mine fell on the ground. To be fair. I was so, so, so scared. Where was this? In Abbotsford. Yeah, like uh, Ross Road area or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and we fed a polar bear. And we, we hung out with Steve French from Trailer Park Boys, the yeah. cougar. 
and 10 wolves, 20 raccoons. They have Steve French there? Yeah. The deer from the Twilight movies. Like, a reindeer. There's a whole bunch of reindeer. Yeah. We got to go to a really, really cool place. Yeah. The polar bear was so crazy because it was laying in the hot yeah. sun. It was like 32 degrees and this polar bear is just laying in the sun in the field. And I'm like, oh, whoa, he must be so hot because he's used to the Arctic. But they're so insulated that he doesn't even feel it. Really? Yeah, it wasn't. It doesn't bother him. He's just chilling? Yeah, he was so happy. The polar bear, you couldn't go into the cage, though. No, he'd, 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 they're pretty fucking yeah. wild. But, but the guy <laughs> went swimming in the swimming pool with him. And he was like head locking it. What? Hanging out with yeah, it. Yeah, people like, swimming. Backstroke swimming all over the place. And it was a fucking giant bear because polar bears are the biggest bear. Oh, they're the scariest. Bear. Um, yeah, they they don't hibernate. From Harry oh, the Harry Potter owl was there. Yeah. Oh yeah, they got lots of birds there. Yep. Um, when we used to go up north with my dad and his friends fishing. Um, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, there'd be people that would go to our camp, but then they'd go for a month up north and come back. And this one time, this German group was there, and they went up north, and then they came back. And when they came back, they left with like two or three dogs and they had all this, when they got home, they had one dog and they were on their last bullet because a polar bear had picked up their scent no. and a polar bear never sleeps and it never stops and never hibernates. So it followed them every single day and night. They had to only sleep like an hour and a half and then keep moving and they'd fire off warning shots. It would eat a couple of their dogs and they'd keep going. This lasted for 13 days. Oh my word. That's terrifying. Right? Because they just, once they get your scent, that's it. Can you imagine being, and you're all the way fuck out there? Yeah, you have no cell service, you have no, no, no nothing. So they went through like 300 rounds of ammunition. Can you imagine? Fuck no. And those things are just soulless. They, yeah, no, they no. Eat they eat you alive. Oh, yeah. Just pull your intestines out. I don't know. Grizzly's pretty soulless too. Yeah, but... they're the same thing. Yeah. The one that chased us, well, I looked back at it just before I turned and burned, and its eyeballs had no soul. They look like a great white shark. They're monsters. Yeah. I feel that... like that's why I said it's so calm because I was like, You're, I'm ready dead. To die. Yeah. I was like, well, I would have been like, I feel like... Bah! you don't know that. No, I don't actually, because I've never been in that situation. Do you think you know what you're gonna do when that happens? Yeah. I figured I would super be prepared. I knew. I knew what to expect, but I was not on the ball. Well, think about it. They can't do what we're doing right now because from this yeah. bush could come a monster yeah. just that just like, eats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No. You are in the wild. Yeah. That's so weird to think they live like that every single day. Yeah. He was out gardening one day, and a, he didn't know this, but the neighbors across the street had a bear in their yard, and they fucking scared it away, or whatever they did, and it ran full speed into his yard, right. and right, poof, past his hip. Like, it could have just fucking hit him and killed him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're huge. Yeah. There's this nature predator Instagram account, and they just posted a Kodiak grizzly. <laughs> it looks like a bulldozer. It doesn't even look yeah, real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a Kodiak? Yeah. But, and that's just bears. Then there's lions. Like, uh, Sari's dad was sitting at the gravel pit, and he's actually in a book for this. He fucking was sitting with his friends, and they were facing him, and all of a sudden they just went, like, scrambling out of the camp to their trucks, and he turned around, there was a fucking giant cougar coming at him and he had grabbed a stick out of the fire and fought it off and made it to the car and they managed to get to the town and report it and whatever and Whoa. when conservation went to check yeah. and they found it and they shot and killed it and it was like mange and it had like missing teeth its teeth were all rotted and down and like worn out oh, so it, it it was just dying it was an elderly cougar but it was huge and it almost killed her dad so when we were up there he was like so concerned about her Yeah, like, mountain lions are not to be fucked with, man. Mm -mm. In my opinion, they're scarier than bears because you can't hear them or see them. They will just stalk you. Yeah, they'll, just, they'll be in a tree above you. I'm surprised you've never had any problems. Not yet. On your Trash pandas. <laughs> Trash pandas. That, what, that poor bastard that ate... That poor bastard that ate my... I had just had one micro dose off that chocolate bar. 
and uh, oh my god, it ate it. It ate the whole thing. Oh. I found the packaging in the morning. It must have had like 100 mil, like 95 no. milligrams. No. <laughs> one wrap, one little wrap, <laughs> 95 mil. Yeah. That would fuck me up. He was probably I wouldn't even feel bad about the fact that like the hundred mils yeah. worth of fucking uh, edibles gone. Yeah. But I was like, that poor bastard. Right? Yeah. He went to the moon. Mm -hmm. Probably didn't die, but still had the like five day trip of his Oh life. yeah. He didn't eat for the next week. He'll never he unzipped my pannier bags under my hammock to get it, so Whoa. Maybe he learned a lesson, he right? It. Thank you, little bandit. All right, little fucker. Yeah. My dad would make it. Yeah. Like moose milk? Moose milk? Oh. Moose milk? Oh. Yeah. So, like, one year he made it the night before and it was really cold. He put it on the balcony. So, like, the next day when everyone came over, yeah. he could, like, you know, have it sure. ice cold. On hand, yeah. Well, the raccoon came up, knocked it off the balcony, smashed it down the stairs, and, like, drank it all. <laughs> we never had a raccoon problem again. <laughs> <laughs> that was it? Died or got so wasted that they yeah. never came back. <laughs> yeah, they started a new way of life. <laughs> they definitely uh, they moved on from just being regular pandas and went right into lush right? life. They're like, we need to go get some more moonshine. <laughs> on the hunt. Yeah, they were bad. I remember in Brookswood, it was, they were just constant. That's how the old lady talked to me that was buying the pails and then she sent her son today. But she called me the other day and she's like, hello! So I'm like, hello! And she's like, I can't hear you! I'm like, hello! We went back and forth for like five minutes and I hung up on her. <laughs> but it's funny because that's what I said to Leslie when we were filming that train video when a train came through and, and we got separated. And then he was on the other side of the train, I was on this side, so I didn't know if he was even dead. So anyways, the train goes by and I stand up, I'm like, hello! And I hear, hello! <laughs> hello! <laughs> Are you doing the caption? Uh, almost. Not okay. Quite. I'll just do one more coat of yellow. Hello. 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 <laughs> That was Seinfeld also. Jerry had a girlfriend that had the Oh girl. yeah, hello! Yeah. <laughs> That's so awesome, you remember that? Well, it was a wasp on your head. No, I'm just trying to ignore him. Fuck. 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 It's scary. Where? Oh, okay. oh yeah, there's a little nest. Call that a fucking crack nest. Hello! Hello!
guy on a ride on lawnmower mowing the dirt at the radio control park. Perfect. No idea. Making, earning his paycheck. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that yellow looks good. Yeah, this is a weird one, but it's fun. A little quickie. Oh, it right. pops off the wall though. Yep. Well, oh, people are gonna see this in a fucking heartbeat because this has been blank and gray for so long. I can't believe nobody comes here. It just sounds like a throwaway. Come on. I know. Well, you're not on TikTok. <laughs> Dads. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Oh man, this is so rad. Right? So fun. It's so simple, but it's few and far between. I know. I'd rather do this though than a big collabo at a wall that takes all day. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes it's like sometimes it's just too overwhelming when people start talking about productions and stuff. It's like yeah, color yeah, coordinating. Like, yeah, just uh, I don't know. How yeah. about we just do a quick uh, right? little quickie for an hour or two and call it a day? Hell yeah! All right, you should be saying. Um, you should be saying. I like stay hip. Yeah, I like it too. I, I kind of want to do too positive because I just think it's so funny. Like, too positive would be funny. How are you going to spell too? Stay, stay hip would be good. Remember that day at the wall at East Hastings? The big wall, the big day. You're standing, you're standing, you're standing on your, on the billboard. <laughs> oh! <laughs> live, you're like live, live streaming, like. Yes. It just went on and on. Forever. The day just went on and on. Just... That was the longest day. Yeah. That was so crazy. <laughs> Man, I can't believe you guys did that. So rad, though. I'm so stoked. Yeah. Let's go, Kyle. Come on, crack a beer. <laughs> yeah. I think that's what it's going to have to be. Much better. Right? Oh, yeah. so that much that better. was. Yeah. Damn.
Hand style? Should I do a hand style? Yeah. Oh, you mean you, you want to make it just too clean? You don't want to fuck it up, or? No, I think I could do a hand style right here. But this color too, same color. Yep. Okay. And I think bottom right would be. Yeah. Yeah. It's, Appropriate. It's, it's, yeah. Oh my god, you did a blue heart. Oh shit, I've never seen you go wild on the hands. That hand sounds different. I've been painting. Shit, that's crazy. Fuck that E and that K. He went wild with that one. Oh, that looks better, dude. Fucking A. Fucking A. Holy oh, fuck! Uh, no, sorry, bro. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll, uh, yeah, we'll grab another 20. <laughs> that crazy. Thanks, Gabriel. Big hip. Mm -hmm. I like them. That's so rare. it off. Yeah, yeah, I'm now talking. Oh, just the sweat juice. Yeah, uh, dishpan hands. <laughs> <laughs> so weird. It's on fish eye. <laughs>